Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So whether you're on your Mac or PC or any other device for that matter, it's really going to be essentially the same thing as far as using Surfshark. So let's talk a little bit about how to use Surfshark and how all the options available could help you utilize this VPN much better. Now I'm only going to be talking about the VPN here and not necessarily all the other tools that come with the higher tier plans. But if I were to sum these up, I mean, they're just identity protection tools and you have an antivirus as well as a safe search feature. So if you don't have any of these tools already, you can get them with Surfshark for a really good price. Either way, links to pricing discounts and the full review will be in the description down below in case you're interested. Now, when it comes to using the VPN, it's incredibly easy to use. All you have to do is just click the quick connect here and it'll connect you to what it thinks is the best location for you. Here you have some information about the location that you're connected to. And here you have the notification bell and you have the ping bell. So if you just click this right here, it'll give you the ping or latency rather of every single location available, which will give you an idea of which one to go for if you're into gaming, for example, or if you want to make sure that you want to get as low of a ping as possible. Now, other options you want to learn about is what's going on here. Now, the dedicated IP is basically an IP that you can get for yourself and nobody else can use. Now, multi-hop servers will route your connection through two servers instead of just one for double the security and you can even create your own connections here. As far as static IP, it will always give you the same IP address every time you return to the server. So let's say if I click on a specific server here and I go to any IP finder, it'll be giving me the same IP address every single time. Luckily, you do have an IP finder here. It'll just give you the current IP that you're using with Surfshark right here. So you don't need to go to the IP finder to double check, but just in case you want to. You have 100 countries at your disposal and over 3,200 servers. And as far as using the VPN, again, it can be a simple is clicking the quick connect button right here and of course you can change it from the settings if I just click change and select whatever country let's just say Australia it'll become Australia and it's as simple as that but I'm just going to return this actually let's just go with the Chicago server and that's basically it here you'll have the recently used and what's recommended for you and if you go to the settings this is where it gets quite a bit interesting. Now, the thing you really want to know about is essentially the kill switch. The ad blocker is an ad blocker, so you can keep this on if you'd like. It never hurts to keep it on. Now, the kill switch here will kill your internet connection essentially when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, it will just cut your internet connection to prevent any rare or accidental IP leaks. So this is a very important feature to have, especially if you're in a restrictive or censorship heavy country. We've talked about the protocols. You can keep this on automatic. I would recommend keeping it on automatic in case there's a specific location or server that's not compatible with WireGuard, and then it'll basically basically fail to connect to the VPN. So you can keep it on automatic if you would like the most stable connection. Now, bypasser is essentially split tunneling. If you're not familiar with split tunneling, it'll allow us to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So if I can add an application here to be routed through the VPN or have it bypass the VPN uh, if I don't want it routed through the VPN, for example. So this can be very useful, for example, if I only want my, let's just say, browser to use the VPN while the rest of my connection and applications are not using the VPN. So yeah, it can be very useful. And Unfortunately, this is not available on Mac. It's only available because I'm on Windows right now, but everything else will also be available on Mac, so you don't have to worry about that. And then you have a speed tester. So this is going to be a very useful feature if you'd like to just know exactly what are the best servers depending on your location and a couple of features that'll help you if you're in a censorship heavy country a rotating IP and no borders mode. No borders mode will help you bypass these censorship firewalls so that you can more easily connect to Surfshark when you're having a difficulty. Uh, and rotating IP will rotate your IP address every five to 10 minutes to make sure that your tracks are always covered. Now that you understand how to use Surfshark, let's just say I wanna use it to access the French Netflix library easy. I will just select France and that's basically it. I can just go to Netflix and it'll treat me as if I'm coming from France. Now, if I want to access something else, let's say the Panama Netflix library. I don't even know if they have a Netflix library, but I'm just giving you guys the example here that anything is possible here with a hundred countries at your disposal and all kinds of content can be explored really. So um, yeah, Surfshark, I would say overall is the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost with 
without sacrificing any of the premium or necessary security features that you would normally get with more expensive VPNs. So if that's what you're looking for, plus obviously the ability to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, I would highly recommend Surfshark. So again, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.